Hello, so that was a commercial that I just made recently and I'll walk you through how I pulled that off because I wish there would have been content like this when I started as a filmmaker. But I do want to say that although I only spent 20 bucks on the coffee beans and the black sheets that I use for the background, I obviously have a professional camera and years of experience. However, most of that commercial is in the lighting and in the editing. I have a GH4. If you have a GH5 or an A7 III or pretty much any mirrorless cameras and I would say even like decent DSLRs, you can absolutely pull this off if you have uh, experience with editing. So even if I was a bit kooky with the title, any intermediate filmmaker already has the tools to make this happen. Second disclaimer, I do not own the rights to any Collectivo products, which is the brand that I chose to make the commercial of, nor did they pay me to make this video. They did see the video, however, we've been exchanging emails about it and they took an interest in my work there is potential for us to work in the future but the reason I made this is because I'm applying for jobs and I needed a product commercial for my portfolio since it's pretty much the only type of filmmaking that I hadn't tried yet and I'm very happy with the result and glad that they liked it I love their coffee their sandwiches it's tasty shit. And lastly, the research that I did for this project came from Daniel Schiffer's work, who if you know, you'll see a clear inspiration in this video. So cheers, thanks, and love to the lad, Daniel Schiffer. So finally, with all of this said, let me show you how I made this commercial. The first thing I need to figure out was the background. All professional commercials have a clean background. It can be pretty much any color, but you need to be mindful of both the brand and your filmmaking style. The brand that I chose has really vibrant colors and my filmmaking style delves in colors a lot too. So I knew that I would have to tone myself down for this one, otherwise it could get overwhelming. So I chose black. While still, while still remaining playful with the camera movement and editing to showcase who I am as a director. This is especially key with portfolio pieces because you are promoting a brand but you're also selling yourself. You don't want your portfolio pieces to be something that you're not because what the client sees is what they will expect from you. So going back to the background, I literally got two of these bad boys from Target and they cost me 69 cents each. Next all I had to figure out was where to put it and I attached it to my wall with literally a sticky tags that I already had available and it went above our wine cart that served as the surface to put the coffee and the coffee beans on. But you can achieve this with pretty much any table or even surface that you have handy. There is no technical reason I chose to do this at home. I have access to a small studio at my university, but I knew that I was gonna spill a bunch of coffee beans and I didn't wanna do that at a school setting. Mainly, I just wanted this to be a challenge. I wanted to know that if I wanted to, I could shoot a professionally looking commercial from my own home. So then I got the product itself a cup of coffee and the rest was like problem solving any other shoot I had done before. Lighting it properly, getting bored of stationary shots, so taking the camera off the tripod and into my shoulder rig and getting moving shots and of course using a fog machine. My coffee obviously went cold as this took a few hours to film, so I pumped up this fog machine which gave this larger than life steam vibe that made it feel like it had just been made. The rest of it was obviously in the editing where it all came together. I used speed ramping to accelerate that initial shot where everything's slow and then it zooms into the, into the coffee cup. Finally, sound effects. There's nothing more satisfying I just discovered with this video than coffee beans hitting the ground. It's just nice. It's just lovely, let's all embrace it and kiss over it. All of these things give the personality or the filmmaking style to the video and they should all be taken into consideration. Most intermediate filmmakers have already developed this toolkit and how they use it to develop a style. So I truly only spent 20 bucks for this production, but I was honing the skills for years and years to come. And obviously I made the investment of lighting, camera and lenses beforehand. This is totally doable if you've been doing this for a while. It's all about how you would pull it off. This is just the way I did it. So that's it. I hope you like the breakdown. I hope it, it's generally useful. I benefit from content like this in real life, so I want to participate on it. I hope you liked it. Last week, I uploaded one of my music videos if you want to check my work as a music video director. And since we are literally begging for attention already, um, if you want to check Instagram, that would be nice. This uh, coffee commercial was actually one of the cases in which I shared something there first. Videos like this take a lot to make. I script them. It's like a two week process because I obviously still have my day job. I still go to university. So Instagram is a platform that I'm most active on on a day to day basis. So thank you if you check it out. I'm hungry for clout. And that's it. Have a good one, lads and ladies. We're inclusive in this household.